Hey there superstars, it is Vanessa here again, your speaker, trainer and coach from Live Love Give and today I'm coming to you off the back end of day two of a NLP event that I'm going to here in Melbourne or Neuro Linguistic Programming for anybody who doesn't know what that is just give it a Google um, but ultimately um, it's all about really helping people take control and design their lives based on their own subjective experience and what I wanted to dive into with you guys today is this topic that I feel like all of us can resonate with all of us can relate to and it's based on, I'm gonna tell you some story around it, obviously, um, but what it really is, is the fact that no one can judge you unless you're judging yourself. And what I really should say is, you can look at it from no one can reject you unless you're rejecting yourself. It's really your personification of that judgment or that rejection. So somebody might be perceiving, like in their mind, they might be judging you, but at the end of the day, you're not gonna take that judgment personally unless it resonates with the very judgments that you have of yourself. Now, this happens negatively and positively. I think where it's of most value is when we think about when we're negatively judging ourselves, because good judgments are good, right? They're, they're empowering, um, or they can be. We could get into that, and we could probably go down a whole rabbit hole with that one. But for to the purposes of today's message, it's really just about, are you somebody who fears judgment from other people? And if you are, I want you to play around with the idea and the concept that are you what judgments are you having around yourself and the fact that if you weren't judging yourself would you still have a fear around the judgments that you may receive from other people now this might be a mind boggle it might be super simple i don't know where you are on your current growth journey but i think that even if you've come around this concept and you've done some work on it sometimes we need to revisit it and what happened for me today um, i was really inspired because i'm meeting some absolutely phenomenally beautiful extraordinary and genuine human beings who are very like-minded you know we're in the room um, there's about 20 of us and we're all there to look and take responsibility for how we think our own subjective experience um, you know looking at the things that most people are too scared to look at like look at our blind spots look at how we deal with other people how we communicate what fears and insecurities we have like we're facing all that we're bringing it all up and we're breaking through and overcoming it you know by challenging it and questioning it and we've been moving around the room and doing all sorts of exercises and working with all sorts of different people in that environment and I got partnered up today um, with an incredible human being who um, we were able to kind of really coach each other in this really phenomenal way, which I'm really, really feeling blessed by. Um, but one of the things he was struggling with was, um, yeah, this fear of judgment of others. You know, he actually entered the room yesterday and you could tell like already from his physiology, the way he was holding his body that he didn't feel quite comfortable. And he even voiced that, you know, he even kind of got out of his comfort zone and he said, that he had a bit of a fear of like talking up and, and having this judgment from other people in the room, right? And he addressed it, you know, he faced his fears. And then on the break yesterday, I did notice him kind of isolate himself and like kind of, you know, move over to this other isolated part of the room and kind of be on his phone. And I could see his insecurity, his, his, um, his fear, right? And, um, and so I kind of was like, I really wanna go and connect with that guy. I really wanna like in some way make him feel comfortable or just connect with him and just do whatever. But whatever, I got caught up like talking to some other people and it didn't happen. But I had actually, we all went out for lunch and um, got to know him a bit more. And you know, I kind of watched his evolution just over the last 24 hours. And um, I was talking to him about this today that I noticed how he came out of his shell and he got comfortable and he was connecting really well and he was really supporting other people and really kind of coaching them. And he took on this leadership role and he was opening himself up more, but he was still dealing with that fear of judgment from other people. And we were going through a process where we were trying to um, look at different what we call meta programs. Now, meta programs are kind of the way that we filter the world. You know, we generate these through, um, you know, our upbringing, through society. They're all these different kind of filters or lenses that we've picked up along the journey. 
and we've put on as you know and we've had good intention for putting this lens on and kind of guiding our existence and our behavior through but at the end of the day it's probably outdated information we probably need to upgrade and one of the lenses that he had was fearing judgment from other people um, because he didn't want to feel hurt he didn't want to he wanted to protect himself in some variety right and so when we were having this discussion and he was saying and i was asking him some questions about you know that judgment i asked him you know what what judgments do you have on yourself and um and that was kind of like mm, that's like where it's kind of coming from and um and even as he shared with the room about the experience that we went through um the the nlp practitioner the coach that we had um throughout our training you know he kind of questioning questioned him on his fear of judgment from others and he asked him like well what is that like what uh, what are those what is in your mind that other people are judging you about and he actually couldn't come up with anything and so that's how we get caught up we caught we get caught up we restrict our way of being our sense of selves based on fears and judgments that we're projecting um you know that other people are having on us but we can't even define what that is because we've never even experienced it it's just all this mind made stuff that oftentimes you know we developed before the age of seven years old you know before all of those experiences kind of solidified our mindset and these what we call meta programs or lenses that we put on and filter the world and our existence through and when we question them we get a chance and an opportunity to upgrade and um and yeah so i just wanted to use that as a bit of an example and kind of an awakening that he had just by questioning our fears our insecurities and i think this is a really big one um you know for so many of us you know we as human beings we're going to have those fears of judgment right but i want you to just take this one thing away from today's message which is if you're fearing something in your external world it's all just a mirror to your internal world if you are not judging yourself negatively you're not going to have a fear of other people judging you negatively you know you're not in their mind like your whole reality is up here in your mind it's the same thing with rejection. If you have a fear of other people rejecting you, how are you rejecting yourself? Because at the end of the day, we make up a story, an identity, a way of being and seeing ourselves, um, and that's all we can see. And when we're fearing those external um, you know, judgments or criticisms or rejections or whatever it is, that's only coming from inside of ourselves. And if we didn't have them, if we were judging ourselves in a positive light, that is exactly what we would see. If we're like, I'm a, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a brilliant speaker, for instance, right? Then we're gonna go into a room of different people and we're going to see the reactions of others and we're gonna see the positive reactions from others as reinforcing potentially that we're a great speaker and we're getting through to people. And, um, and the same thing is true if we have a negative perception, like most people are so scared and terrified of public speaking, right? If they have that fear, they're gonna go out there, get on stage, and they're going to create that whole experience for themselves they're not in the minds of the other people that are in front of them. They're only in their own mind and they're looking for any negative reflection, any person fidgeting, any person who had to get up to go to the bathroom. They'll be taken with that lens as I'm a terrible speaker to reinforce that identity that we hold for ourselves. So it's super important to have a process of being able to question your reality. You know, what we call it in NLP is it's really your map. And this is out here in reality is the territory. You know, the map in our mind is just, you know, it's a, a represent, representation of the territory of reality, but it's not actually reality. So we need to question it. And um, whatever's not serving you, get rid of it. You know, wouldn't you like to have some processes in place that could allow you to identify the ways of thinking, believing, valuing, um, seeing the world, your behaviors, all that sort of stuff, wouldn't you like to have a way and a process of being able to take those things that aren't serving you, that are creating disempowerment in your life, and take them out, 
question their validity and replace them with something that will project you into an empowered state. You know, that's what NLP is all about. And that's the work that I'm doing at the moment. And I am absolutely um, just super excited about sharing more of what I'm learning in this process. I'm gathering so many tools. And as you guys know, um, I love nothing more than being able to share um, these, whatever is of value with you guys. And um, yep, with everybody that I get to work with, all right, you know I'm the human guinea pig and I'm all about testing stuff out on you guys as well, but I take it first, I go first, all right? So I will cop the crap and uh, definitely give you the goods. So let me check in with you guys. Have you got any questions or comments or words of wisdom or feedback or whatever you wanna share with our amazing community? I'd absolutely love to hear from you now. And if you're not currently part of the masterclasses, I would say jump on board ASAP. I've got so much in store for you guys. Um, I can't wait to share some of the brilliant tools that I've been learning in NLP um, to fast track your success, give it to you in the privacy of your own home for a fraction of the cost of the thousands of dollars that I spend on this stuff. And also you get access to all of the previous masterclasses, which are the best tools and trainings and actionable ways of app applying them in your life so that you actually get the value from them. Um, if you want access to that stuff, then I hope that you'll join us in the monthly masterclasses. Link is up above and let me check in with you guys. Oh, quick side note as well. For all of you guys who've been um, sending me some messages um, just over the last few days, um, I'm gonna be in this event and it's very full on and I'm doing a lot of um, work and it's pretty intense. So I will definitely be getting back to you, but if you could just bear with me until early next week, I'll be getting back to every single one of you guys. And if it's anything pressing or urgent, any of my clients out there, you guys know, hit me up. I will um, just send me something twice or just go urgent and I will be onto it if um, need be. Um, but I hope you guys are all doing amazingly well. So I've got Emma and Yvonne and Giuseppe and Laval and Moises and Amber. Oh, thank you, my friends, so much. Um, gratitude for you and uh, William I'm loving that you're finding something awesome today and uh, and much love to you Amber and Laval hello Vanessa go Tigers you got it my friend can't wait for you to start again and uh, Sarah's here as well and Terry hi Vanessa thanks for the value and light you brought to sunny Spain this morning oh much love to you Terry thanks for always showing up I always love seeing you and uh, Gregory's here and Paul and Elliot. Hey V, good to catch you live. Always my friend, always great to see you. Hope you're doing really well. And Dean's here and Madeline and Sparky. Hello to you and Shane and Loki. Great to see you and uh, hello to you Shane. And uh, William, loving that this is resonating. And Vanessa, when are you going to write a book? Maybe I can help you. Definitely William. Um, thank you so much because um, I always like I'm very humbled when you guys ask me stuff like that because it is absolutely one of my goals and dreams to write a book I would um, love 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 nothing more than to be able to do that so um, I yep if you can help me if you're in that arena I'd love to hear from you William and uh, Daniel's here as well and I'm loving that this is a great message for you William and Frank's here and uh, Sarah I'm so interested in NLP your speaking always resonates with me oh yay um, I recently went on stage to tell my story and I felt so amazing for doing it. I overcome, overcame my fear and so pleased with the great response I've had back from others saying it helped them and they related to it. Oh, Sarah, that is so, so amazing to hear and congratulations, my friend. That is so empowering, you know, when we get out of our own way because a lot of us, we haven't even had the experience, but we've got this whole perception, this whole fearful concept around doing those things until we actually have the courage to step one foot in front of the other and actually do it and go through that experience. And now you've been able to get over any fears because you've got an experience to override your mind-made fears and projections to show you that when you step up on stage and you're authentic and you bring your courage, you know, and your confidence, then you can actually support people with your st story. So thanks for being such a beautiful example, Sarah. Much love to you. And uh, yes, I love that um, things are resonating. And Loki, I've experienced a recent profound shift in my external circumstances and I realized that my outer circumstances change at the same rate and my um, and my inner state. Like I've had um, this Cinderella type job offer that happened right after I had an inner breakthrough. Wow. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Um, and lots of similar stuff in relationships and everything else. Missed the first five minutes or so, but I want for everyone to be happy and fulfilled and realize the power of personal growth. Oh, so much love for you, Loki. And I love that you've shared that. And um, 
Yes, absolutely. I love that you've, um, you know, isn't that funny that when you make internal shifts, the external world starts to kind of like work in your favor, like you start to align with it because at the end of the day, you attract in the external what's going on in your internal, right? So when we make those breakthroughs, when we make those internal shifts, we start opening ourselves up to the possibilities that are in alignment with that higher level of who we are and how we're holding ourselves in the world. So so much love for you loki i know you've sent me an email and i will definitely be getting back to you so much love for you my friend and um and i love the love that you share with our beautiful community pumping them up and get them in, getting them into action i love it and uh, sarah i was scared but once on stage that fear went and um just left me thank you oh i love hearing that and uh yes loki i got you there my friend so so cool i so appreciate you sharing your experience um i love it when you guys do this like you know, when we can have a conversation, you know, when I share these messages, I'm just kind of, this is what's on top of my mind. And it's so fulfilling to me to be able to connect and kind of have this like back and forth with you guys and you be able to share your perspectives and your experiences. And it's super valuable for other people listening, you know, when you can share what's going on in your world, you know, your struggles, your successes, your breakthroughs, all of it. So, so much love and appreciation for each and every one of you guys for doing so. And uh, Manoj from India, great to see you, my friend. And Elliot, after singing um, in front of people, speaking in front of people is easy. Oh, I like that. You know, for some people that's true. What we would probably say in NLP, that that's your map, right? That's your um, filtering through the meta perspective. Because I think I would be much more terrified of singing in front of people than speaking in front of people because I have a perception of myself that I'm a better speaker than I am a singer. And for you, Elliot, it might be the opposite. You might perceive yourself to be a better singer than a better, than um, a, Oh no, speaking and singing. Oh, actually I just contradicted myself a little bit there because uh, you find it, um, you think it'd be easier to speak in front of people even though you know that you are a great singer. I don't know, probably messed that up. But at the end of the day, we how we perceive ourselves um, and the, the judgments that we have on ourselves are the judgments or projections that we're projecting onto other people in the external environment. They don't have, you can't know what's going on in their mind whatsoever. And you only have that filter or that fear because you're judging yourself in that way. You know, um, so thinking about it from that perspective is super valuable. I hope this has um, served you. And I so appreciate you there, Elliot, as well. And um, as always, guys, I am sending you all of my love, light, blessings, gratitude, energy, enthusiasm, everything extraordinary coming to you to wherever you are in the world today. I really do hope that it's beautiful, amazing and extraordinary wherever you are in the world today. And I hope today's message has served you. And uh, Corey, your messages are so timely and right on point. Thanks for having the faith to put yourself out there and lifting us up. Oh, Corey, you are touching my heart, my friend. I so appreciate such kind words and um, thank you. Yeah, like I, I love that you guys are finding any sort of value in any of these messages that I'm sharing. Um, they're always coming from my heart, so I hope I'm connecting with yours as well. And um, thank you so much, guys. Um, so much love for each and every one of you. I've got two more days um, here at this NLP event, mind blowing all over the place. So. Hopefully I have some left by the end of it, or maybe not, depending on how, what way you look at it. Um, but um, yeah, and then I'm off to the beautiful Yarra Valley. So I can't wait to show you guys some of where I'll be um, next week. It'll be super beautiful in the countryside where all the wineries are here in Victoria. So can't wait to share that with you guys. Thanks so much for joining me. So much love for each and every one of you. See you later, Shane, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Much love.